Welcome everyone to My Creative Cast, where we talk about films, TV shows, and video games. It's just a few things that I love, and some things that I want to discuss. Uh, today we have back on the show with us, Javi and Vince. Welcome guys. What's up guys? What's going on? Uh, today on My Creative, our main topic is our backlog. Uh, what do we do with it? Uh, we keep adding to it. Are we playing anything? Are we watching anything? Uh, but before we discuss the, that main topic, uh, I want to have uh, some housekeeping and some articles, you know? And so, uh, quick little housekeeping. Uh, what are we doing with this channel? Well, uh, we're releasing podcasts. We want to start doing live streams of uh, video games um, where we're going to have, you know, a two on two, either competitive or, you know, something like Dead Cells, uh, which we're going to talk later on about. Um, <clears throat> what plans do we have? Well, I just assessed them. Uh, you know, we're going to try to just entertain and talk about entertainment. Uh, and the more we do that, the more you guys uh, can fill in your two cents. And uh, we can be a community. We can be a family. You know, as the uh, founder of my creative, I want to keep this channel going uh, with some of the passions that I have in my life. Uh, we will be doing uh, podcasts and everything. And so let's play all together. Let's uh, be a community. Let's be a family. Uh, and let's engage in the passions that we have. Um, I have with me my friends who I know love watching uh, movies, love watching TV, love watching anime, love playing video games. And so um, <clears throat> we're all friends. We're going to be friends. So let's hang out, sit down, and enjoy this video. Thank you. Um, Okay, so for the first uh, quick article I wanted to bring up, not that you guys may be uh, Kingdom Hearts fans, uh, but I sure am a huge one. And uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, there was this one... Um, let, me, let me pull up the, the article. The article comes from IGN, and the IGN talks about how um, there, is, there is someone on the staff that said, oh, the game's going to be 50 hours long. If you want to do all the side stuff, 80 hours long. Now, in this day and age, that um, that length of time is a pretty good video game, pretty good um, GRPG or just an RPG itself. Right? Like Origins itself yeah. is like a 60 hour game. And if you want to do all the extra things, it's like 80 to 90, right? Witcher 3 was beyond that. It's like hundreds of hours if yeah. you really wanted to do everything. And so, uh, but on a, as far as Kingdom Hearts goes, the amount of content that you can actually do through the whole main story is actually on the lower end of 20, 20 hours. Yeah. Right? Um, I think, like, Kingdom Hearts uh, 1, you can beat it in five hours. They have an actual, like, speedrun trophy where you can you beat it through in five hours. Um, and then Kingdom Hearts 2, there's a lot more things to do, but it's still relatively on the lower end. Now, I think that's just because it's released on the PS2 and there's not a lot of data that can hold, so they had to really kind of crunch in the, the story. Okay. Uh, but we're looking at Kingdom Hearts 3 and kind of seeing 50 hours to 80 hours. That's awesome. And this article specifically is talking about how Tetsuya Nomura, who is the, the, the creative director on the, on the video game of Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, it's, like his, it's like his little baby, right? Because he started from the very, very beginning of Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, he talks about, no, no, no. We don't have an official time. That staff person was just using their opinion. The, we don't have official time yet. We're not going to announce it. But my opinion is it's going to be a lot bigger. And so I'm like, wow, that's really exciting. I mean, you have this, like, you have, you, we've been waiting for 10 years for Kingdom Hearts 3, and now we're hearing that story content-wise... It could be longer than 50 hours, and that's quite exciting to me. Uh, what do you guys think about you know, the, the, the turn of video games and how they're actually getting more in-depth? And then you have these indies uh, or independent games that are coming out where they're just five-hour games, you know, three-hour games, these really quick um, you know, games that, are real, that you can beat really quick yeah. and just play over and over and over again. And then you have those really long ones where you, it takes time and dedication to be, I mean, like, I played Xenoblade Chronicles 2 150 hours worth to play through, do side missions, beat the whole game. I took my time on it, obviously, but that was a lot of hours that I put into that one game, and that's how I feel like games are, are coming now. You know, they seem to be coming in this, like, this bigger, uh, lengthier 
chunk of, of story, you know? Yeah. What do you guys, thoughts on that? I mean, uh, you're seeing a trend, obviously, but... I'm kind of excited to see that, just because there was there was a point in time where the games were coming out, and they were just a little too short. Like, I noticed that the story itself was kind of... this Lackluster. Yeah. Yeah. Or they were just kind of, like, throwing it out there just for the sake of people playing online, mm. and having that online, like, that just free-for-all games. And I noticed uh, the, a lot of the stories were being kind of just rushed and even though they were good stories and there was a lot of good like gameplay it was too short and it was just it wasn't fulfilling especially if you passed it within a day because a lot of gamers i know finish games within a day or two and everything is possible now when you have like so many forums everyone's talking about how you can find this and that and that and then all of a sudden everyone has everything within that one day and then right. there's not much left to play, so I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I, I agree, I agree. Every time a, a game comes out, it's almost like that next day you already see on YouTube, you already see on articles, tips on how to do this or how to find this or like an Easter egg on this. And it's just like, holy crap, yeah. you guys are literally spending like 24 hours to just play through this whole freaking game. It's crazy. Yeah. Your thoughts? I mean, I know you're a big Fallout person. So yeah, you, you played a lot of Fallout Four. I played a lot of Fallout Four, and and so it's like that. It, that in itself is a huge game. Story wise, you can probably beat it pretty fairly quick. Fairly quick. I mean, there's just so many different avenues that you can go through Fallout. You can literally. You don't even have to do regular gameplay. You could just be building um, whatever towns that you have. You could be doing all the side quests. But at, at a certain point, that became overwhelming to where I actually had to be like, you know what? I got to step away from Fallout for a little bit just because. I felt like I was consuming my time. But finding like kind of like that 50 to 80 hour, I feel like it's that happy medium to where it's a good length of time. It's like, all right, cool. There's a foreseeable end to this mm -hmm. rather than, holy crap, there's so many things I got to do or so many you know um, quests that I can do, buildings that I can uh, make. I feel like that actually is like a happy medium between someone who is a huge game play. You know, you play video games yeah, right. uh, more often rather than someone who will just pick it up. It's like, oh, okay, a fun video game. I have a console. Let me uh, put it in real quick and then, and then play it. So I think it's that happy medium that meets both audiences. I, yeah, no, I see that. And I agree to that, I think. Because it's like if you are dedicated to finding everything, you can take the time to go and do the side missions and make the make the additional content an even longer experience mm -hmm. for you if you're into that. Right, but if you have that kind of fifty-hour, sixty-hour right actual story where it's a full fleshed-out story and you're going through it, mm -hmm. then that's something that you're kind of doing throughout a, a few days, right? Because yeah. maybe you're not playing for twenty-four hours; you're no. playing for you know three. At yeah. the point in our lives, it's like two, three hours maybe. If we're getting to that, like, oh, this game's amazing, I want to play it for this long, you know what I mean? Where it's like, I find myself nowadays just picking it up to just play for maybe an hour, kind of enjoy it, and then set it down and go do something else, yeah, you know? Yeah. So I agree, it's that, like, it's that happy meeting. I think the problem is that we're getting to um, these these lengthy games, but then at the same time, we're getting so many yeah. You know what I mean? Like like Shadow of the Tomb Raider is coming out in September. Spider-Man is also coming out in September. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Spyro, also coming out in September. They all bring three, back Spyro? Yeah, they remastered everything. So it's wow. all three uh, games. Wow. All the original games from PlayStation. Wow. All of these games are coming out. Red Dead's coming out a month later, right? Um, what are they on now? Four? Red Dead? Yeah. Oh, two. Red Dead Redemption 2. It is two. I, th I yeah. thought that had, that had already come out. Mm -mm. No. no, no, that's coming out. Damn, then that's, it's in October or November. Been, what, one like, of those. Then it's been like ten years since the last one came out. Then not. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been wow. a lot of a long, long time. Wow. Um, so I mean, you have all like it's like constantly. So it's to me, it's almost like do I do I pick one game that I want to play through like everything, and then I just play a bunch of indie games. Where yeah. it's like, if I ever just want, like, okay, I know I can only be on here for, like, an hour, but I don't want to jump into Spider-Man because I know if I do, I'll be here for four hours. Yeah. You yeah. know? And so it's like, I'm just going to jump into that quick little indie game and everything, mm -hmm. right? 
so I, I it's it's hard because there's there's so much avenue right now for 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 gaming and for um, just availability, really. You es- know, especially with the fact that you can just download them straight to your console. Yeah, that seems. Yeah, like, you don't even have to go to the store anymore. Yeah, yeah, I know. Free games, because sometimes they give you free games just for subscription. For subscription, and, like mm-hmm. well, purchasing one, you get another one, or you get. Yeah, that's probably some of the crazy stuff that I. I can I couldn't even, couldn't imagine how much actual like content is on. No, <laughs> I know. On I know. And the, and to try system. to like be that completionist and play everything is is just not going to happen. It's yeah. not. It's not going to happen. There's too many titles out there right now that just like yeah. yeah no, I mean I I haven't even played Origins Assassin's Creed Origins and our Odyssey's already coming out in in uh, I think it's actually coming out in October. Or or September. I don't I don't know, but it's coming out at the end of this year. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like that's already a whole new and Assassin's said, game. And you said Witcher is like how many hours? Oh, Witcher three is is a hundred plus for sure, because mm-hmm. they have all the expanded pass stuff, which is adds another twenty to uh, forty hours of gameplay. Yeah, you know, and it just it allows you to level up your you know Geralt even more than than in the the main story. That's and nice. it's just yeah, it's it's just crazy, and it's it's awesome for the people who are like, oh, this is so much because I am a huge huge fan of this, and I can literally play yeah. this forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> That's but what I mean, it seems like. That's how it's like a lot of people with Skyrim. It's like they yeah. just play Skyrim over and over and over again. But at the same time, that'll be like the only thing that they play and right. invest their time in. Right. For, but for someone who wants to play, you know, multiple different games, it's like, what do I give my time to? How do I yeah. split that up? And yeah. So, yeah, I'm 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 more of a like quick game kind of guy. Like yeah, Dead Cells. We were just playing Dead mm-hmm. Cells. That's that's my kind of game right now. I, I I would much rather play a game that I can put down and I don't have to see like oh, there's a giant map that I need to like discover, mm-hmm. and I'm just here in this one spot. And, and there's I, so and much then, to do. And just to get to that point to unlock that part of the map, it took me seven hours. Like that's not the kind of game I want to play. I, I first of all, I get tired. My I'm I'm the kind of guy that my eyes will start burning after the first hour of playing. I'm just like, <laughs> nope, I, I can't do it anymore. I'll have you to probably play need, it down. You probably need glasses. Maybe <laughs> but I'm the only one in my family that doesn't use glasses, so who knows? Yeah, you probably you probably should check that out. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, uh, friends. We're friends. We're friends now, by the way. Um, how do you see more content like this? Well, you subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You check us out on Twitch. We have other social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram and uh, Twitter coming soon. Yeah? Yep, yep. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if you want to be a member of the My Creative family, we are working on a Patreon. Uh, let's try to rhyme with that. No? Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying, whatever. We are working on a Patreon uh, to be a part of that uh, My Creative Family. We're working on the tiers right now as to uh, what you guys will be getting early access to, um, what you got, special content you guys will be receiving, behind the scenes stuff and whatnot. Uh, so once that's all figured out, we will make sure that we let you guys know that it's up and running and you guys can check it out. Um, be a part of the family, be a part of the community. Let's all just be friends together and uh share our passions share our um experiences you know so make sure you're leaving comments make sure you subscribe and like the the videos that you watch um let us know you know we have uh facebook for the reason of just letting us know uh you know little critiques or little ideas of like you know what we can either do better or things that we can talk about more um if you guys are more into you know Oh, I want I want to hear more about anime. It seems like you guys are just talking about TV shows, movies, and and video games, you know. Or I want to hear more about you know other creative arts like um, artists in certain areas and things like that. So um, branch out, you know, talk to everyone, comment down below, and just uh, you know spread the wealth, spread the fun, and uh, enjoy all the videos. Uh, let's go on to the next uh, article here. Let's talk about. Um, Walking Dead, everyone. Walking Dead. It's their own, t- what, Talking Dead? What do they call it? The one oh, yeah. They have the, the, there's, al- there's, the there's already podcast. a Talking Dead. We don't want to get shut down. It's 
true. We edit that out. Yeah, we're gonna, no, we're not going to add that. <laughs> talking Dead. We're not Talking Dead, but we are talking about Walking Dead. We're talking Walking Dead. <laughs> so let's, let's continue with the article. This article is from EW.com, and it's pretty much talking about Andrew Lincoln revealing why he's leaving The Walking Dead. Now, I sent this article to you guys um, on my trip over to, to, to Comic-Con. And um, I just, I wanted to hear your intakes on it. Because, to be honest, I have not watched Walking Dead. It's not something that I uh, am very into. I'm not, I don't like the scary stuff. Um, <laughs> but I know you guys watch it. And so I just wanted to hear yeah. your intake on uh, the article and what you, your thought process of where it's going. And so coming from an outside perspective... I might have some questions as to like what's going on or or um, why this is such a big deal. Who this who this Andrew Lincoln is? He might be a descendant of Abe Lincoln. That's the only thing I think he's relatively famous for. <laughs> no, okay, maybe not. Well, uh, he's definitely the main character, and <clears throat> personally, I don't necessarily like the decision. I don't know if that's probably the best route that they can take, especially because he's. The staple. Like, yeah, yeah, people will riot if Daryl dies. That's one thing. But Rick Grimes is, like, the main character, I'm pretty sure. like Since it, day one. Since day since one. Day one. Well, I mean, the first episode was literally just him just. for the most part. <clears throat> so the fact that they're moving on without him, I'm not sure where it's going. I'm not sure what the storyline is. I am caught up. He is not. He hasn't watched it. But I know <laughs> that... For the most part, it's just going to be a departure of Rick Grimes. Whether he's coming back to the series at all, I have no idea. I don't know if he's dying or, or not. Now, was was this his decision? It was. Yeah. It was. Okay, so it, it wasn't like it wasn't the producers being like, you know what, this guy's gone stale. We're going to write him out. Well, for it. everybody else, I think for everybody else, it was kind of like they found out in scripts. I think it was him and the character who played Maggie, I think, actually opted to be out of it. And they said, I believe it was it was the character of Maggie, unless Maybe. I'm wrong, but I, I believe... Spoilers, by the way. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Lean forward. Got there it. You go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, um, I mean, with, with, with these characters obviously moving on with their life, it's just what you... What do you expect necessarily the the show's going to go on with. I mean, I know they have two branches. They have Walking Dead, and then they have Fear the Walking Fear Dead. Walking they have Dead. two? They have two. two shows, yeah. Oh, they have two shows. And they're kind of... They're not linear completely, like the stories, mm -hmm. but they do intersect that one point. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's yeah. kind of like Flash and, and Arrow a little bit, where yes. they kind of... You know, kind of, kind of coexist in the same yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, area, but sometimes... Flash will come over here. Sometimes Arrow will come over there. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. So there's only been one episode, I believe, when there's an actual crossover, and it was uh, a character named Morgan. Okay. And, okay. Um, you can keep going. Yeah. And so one, I think that was the only time that any would ever cross yeah. over in the series. But aside from that, like the fact that that show itself is not nearly as big as The Walking Dead. No. And by not nearly, it's not big at all, really. It's not that, it's not that big. What is it, Aaron? Is it Aaron a, 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 It's the same. Well? It's, it's still okay. AMC. Yeah, AMC, okay. yeah. But nobody really talks about that one. It's, yeah, it's, it, I mean, it has some good scenes, some good parts, but for the most part, it's not that great. Um, but, but them choosing to move on without him, I feel like it's going to be kind of rough. I feel like it's, it's because I feel like it's going to be the beginning at the end of the show. I mean, yeah. the series isn't oh, really? going to last forever. I mean, everybody the knows of that. The everything. End, everyone. Yeah, it's going to be the beginning and the end. Wow, but. that's I mean that I mean that's pretty big because Walking Dead is a very big TV show. It is. A, I mean, I I know that there are people who are like, you know, in the office. Oh, I'm so excited for The Walking Dead. It's mm -hmm. it's it's coming on or it's airing or whenever you know. Like when was it Thursdays or I don't know. Who cares. Some, I don't Sundays, watch it. But I mean, I the, I the talk of it has been has been slowly diminishing as well. It isn't as big in because they had a formula, and everyone yeah. started to figure out the formula. Yeah, right. Uh, really, really, really big episode in the very beginning of the season. Right, climax towards the mid season where they have a break. Right, 
get to the start of the second season or the or the second part of the mid season where they have you know they kind of smooth out the climax right a little bit yeah right but they smooth it out and then they kind of leave it lingering and then they make you wanting more to the end of the season mm-hmm. where then they have another cliffhanger yeah and that's what it almost seems like that people were talking about that it, it's like that's how it goes yeah and yeah. they were getting tired of that there was there was no kind of innovation to the storytelling that they're that they were making yeah and that that and i i think they lost a lot of momentum even though i personally think it was one of the best episodes that they had was the one where they killed off when negan killed off two of the characters okay yeah that oh and yeah he's got that, that, that fucking, in. is it a barbed wire bat yeah mm-hmm. yeah that, i've seen i've seen cosplays of that it's pretty cool yeah. yeah and so i even though it was like a great fucking it was so fucking good it was a really good show because if you were in, if you're you invested your time in that in that yeah. show you invested hurt. in the it characters hurt. yeah it hurt like you watched it and you were just like why did they do this yeah why did they have <laughs> yeah. to do this <laughs> yeah but then you you think about the character and the, the character would do this so it made sense but i think that whole scene that whole episode that whole little um i think it was like a three-part episode i'm not sure how long it was but um I think that killed off a lot of the fans. There were so many fans that were so pissed off about it. Okay. That I think it lost the momentum. It lost a lot of, like, younger audiences. Okay. Like, the ones that were just allowed, just old enough to be allowed to watch it, I think their parents were just like, what are you watching? This is too graphic. You're, we're done. And there were so many people that were angry about it. Not because of, like, the... The character design, but because of the like the brutality, like the gore on that episode was oh, so okay. crazy that people were hated it. There's okay, so so, so getting it. back to Andrew Andrew Lincoln and why it's such a big deal is because him I, being the main character, him being kind of that base of the story. He's to me, he's like the foundation, right? right? Is that yeah. what it, I'm getting? Yeah, and, 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 and you've lost so many foundational characters in this okay. whole series too. Yeah. If you flipped it on randomly... From this like, crazy bat shit, you know... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the whole concept of Game of Thrones. Like, you don't know who's next. You don't oh, know okay. who the next person's gonna die, because nobody is safe from that point. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. been safe. So really, so. there's more... There's less fear of the zombies. There's more fear of the people it's, in, it's, in, the, in the area. It's the more fear of, of your favorite yeah, characters of, dying and yeah. stuff like that. There's but more with, fear of, like, of what the opposing... Humans. Like humans are gonna do yeah. to mm-hmm. screw over everyone else and have a bunch of them die. What do you got planned for today? We planned this, and then you turn around and tell me you have plans. I do have plans. <laughs> <laughs> can't can't do this for twelve hours. We're not doing it for twelve hours. I'm just We're wondering. I'm just wondering. It's like you know, hey, you already made plans. No. Are you going to Disneyland? No. <laughs> I wouldn't. Are I wouldn't you going see. to Hobbiton? What the hell is that? Hobbiton. I don't know what that is. It's the Hobbit Village from Lord of the Rings. No, I'm not going And to. speaking of Lord of the Rings, our <laughs> next article is, uh, is uh, actually on the Witcher news, which brings in... Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. Hey, there are little... There are little speaking like, of this, yeah. <laughs> we're not There's talking about that. We're going to talk about this. Completely. Okay. Um, uh, there's going to be a Netflix series. You guys know that? Yes. There is going to be an Netflix series. I do series. now. And it's exciting uh, because it's a huge game, huge fiction book following. Or is it nonfiction? I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Fiction. Whatever. It's based non-fiction off of fiction books, is right? Real. I don't remember. Fiction is what? Fiction. Nonfiction is real? Nonfiction is real. <laughs> Look at me, idiot. And, he's, <laughs> and he owns all these books. <clears throat> Yeah, but I don't know how to describe them. I just know how to describe them. Whatever. You know what? Fuck <laughs> They're for you. Show. Fuck all of you. <laughs> We're talking about Witcher now. And uh, uh, Superman actually has gone on the the record uh, during an interview and saying he loves Witcher 3. He's actually playing it his third time. The Superman? He, the watches, Superman. It, he watches it from the Sol- Fortress of Solitude? Yes, he watches it from that cold-ass dungeon. It's able to keep the computer a, a lot colder. So he, he actually has a lot of, like, and he computer has Wi-Fi, because he's got Netflix. <laughs> um, uh, no, yeah, but Henry, Henry Cavill. So I always have Cavill? the trouble. Cavill. 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 I'm sure it's Cavill. I think it's Cavill. Let us Henry. know. <laughs> Pretty sure it's Cavill. God damn it. 
I had, I had the trouble with the last Cavill. one. Didn't I have it? I think so. Cavill. Uh, Cavill. 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 Um, he, he He's said, Italian. he went on record. He was uh, speaking to uh, an interview. And he was saying, you know, oh yeah, I love the Witcher series. He's, it's the second time that he's actually playing through the game, which is like, God, I want to be a fucking celebrity because then you, you can, can play just, through the entire yeah, game. Yeah. I'm not honestly. I'm going to be honest, and it's not going to be something that you guys are going to appreciate. But I have not beat that game, but I have started it like four times. <laughs> it's so huge, and I always get to a certain point, um, or actually, I get like further and further each time I start it. But it's just that so much, and then something new comes out, and I start playing that, and that just becomes my focus. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm here to review video games. I'm here to talk about video games. I can't just focus on one thing. And because the game's so fucking huge, I just it's like, oh, God, i got to get through it. It's like a slog, but it's also not. So why not do you restart it four times? Because it's so good! So and you had a re- want to so get instead through of it. finishing it, you just restart it four times? Yeah, because then I feel like, like <laughs> where am I at? You know, where, where am I at in the story? You know, it's like if you if you go back to Game of Thrones, you want to rewatch season one. That's a lot of that's a lot of when you go back I tried to doing season that two, you know what I mean? Like okay, okay, sorry. If you want to watch season eight, you want to go back and watch season seven to kind of recap what you're doing. Or you can watch a 15-minute episode on YouTube like we did. Um, But, (laughs) you know, but you can actually do that. For, for, was it 10 episodes? Or no, no, seven seven season is like seven episodes. So, yeah. Yeah. So, seven hours of, um, give or take, of whatever, right? So, why don't you go on YouTube and just watch a 10-minute gameplay of the... You know, <laughs> ten hours that you spent on it. Who, no, I'm gonna yeah. redo who the ten hours. To, who, yes, yes. <laughs> Backtrack, do the same thing four times because, and then give up. And then because you know, so look, every time, every four time times, I restart, every time I restart. Hey guys, every time I restart, uh, I've learned something new in the game, a new either mechanic or a new, um, you know, just. Well, yeah, you haven't passed it. <laughs> I know! Fighting style, a, a, a way of, like, a, a, a certain build, like a hybrid build or a magic build or whatever. And so I actually, in each play, I've tried to adapt a different build each time. And it doesn't affect the story. I still enjoy the story very, very much. The only reason that I say that I'm giving up is because there's other games that come out. Mm. And I just, I just, once I play those other games and I'm like, oh, fuck, I haven't played Witcher and you know fucking two weeks and where am I at whatever <laughs> two weeks yeah a month and where am I at uh, whatever well it's and good so that it's you like found yourself six months four later times. yeah six months later I'm like you know what I'm gonna try it again and I restart the game and you know what just shut up <laughs> so um and it doesn't help that he has like six systems yeah yeah well I think it is like six systems yeah because one game could come up it would be it would be one thing to have one game. Are we judging? This is a bash has, on Mike. Are we <laughs> judging? Ten games on four different systems that comes out, and then he's got to have two. And then he are we judging? Them. Because there's no need to judge in this community. <laughs> Judge, judging zone. We're judging right now. <laughs> so the Witcher series. We're in the hashtag judge place. zone. You can't watch Witcher until you finish. The game. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll watch Witcher. I've read the books, motherfuckers. <laughs> Whoa, you actually finished one? Yeah. There's, there's four of them. How many well, times did it take you to finish it? Yeah, to English. English. How many times I did you read the first book? I, I, did, I did restart. That's, that's funny that you bring that up because I did restart the first book. Oh, fuck. There's another book that I want to read. I got to go back to the first book. Shit. Hold on, guys. I need to start it from the beginning. Oh, no, that first book, though, was, 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 it, was, it was good, but it was kind of like, ah. Uh, and then I, I started reading something else. And I'm like, no, I got to get back into it. But I'm like, where the fuck am I? I don't understand this when I started reading it because I had like marked where I was. And I'm like, I just got to start over. So I started over on that one. It's something about the Witcher series. I just can't. <laughs> we'll, we'll I let, always had to start it over. We'll let you know how many times it takes them to watch the entire Witcher series on Netflix. Right? Oh, I know. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna binge watch it and then like give up and then binge watch it again and then give up and oh, shut up. <laughs> um, so they say in the in the article that the series is gonna have a lot of surprises and filming's gonna start in the winter. And this uh, this winter, okay. 2018, and it's going to and the series will start airing in 2020. Um, so, but there's suck. no talk at all on casting. Okay, right. Oh, and wow. so and so you know, Superman's talking about I would, and the the interviewer said, "Hey, would you would you would you want to be Geralt? You know, 
Yes. Yeah. I would love to be Geralt, is what he said. He, I would that would be wonderful because he's read the books, mm-hmm. he's played the video games, and he is it seems like a diehard Witcher fan. What a way to put himself out there, be like, Hey, yeah. I was Superman, you know? I could be And what's awesome, and I'm sure you guys can look this up because there's been concept art since he said that of him photoshopped as Geralt of Rivia with the white hair and the white beard and, the, oh, and wow. the scar over his eye. And it looks fucking awesome. It looks really, really good. Now, as far as him being able to play Geralt of Rivia, I don't know. No. Maybe. What is you it? Know? Like the, the, the yeah, I know nothing about the characters. The, the... He, he is... he's um, So he's gone through mutations to become a witcher, right? Okay. And the mutations have pretty much sapped him of emotion. He still feels like anger and all that stuff, whatnot. But it's like he's he kind of like less of a person, mm-hmm. so that he can be on par with the monsters that he fights, right? Okay. Um, and that's that's pretty much what it is in the in the world uh, the world building of, of of Witcher itself. You have humans, you have a very thin amount of Witchers. And you have your monsters, right? And the monsters will attack villages or they'll attack, like, certain things. And it's just like, help, you know, there's a griffin attacking my, you know, my water tank. And we're not going to have water for the winter and, like, whatever it is, right? And so you have to go track down this griffin and and take it out, right? It's the same way in the books, too. He's literally just traveling the country, taking contracts and getting gold, you know? And that's the Witcher code is that you, it's like, we don't do things for free. You need to pay us in some way, right? Okay. Um, but because he's sapped of emotion, because he's that his kind of hard, um, <clears throat> not not so much emotionless. Because you see a lot of emotion from Geralt, you see less emotion from other Witchers in the book and in in the series. Um, you, I just don't know if if he would be able to pull it off. Mm, I don't know okay. if he would be able to. Sh- it's like you have to show emotion without showing emotion, and that's a really hard thing to act. You know, it's, that's, that's tough. That's like, that's like when Tyra Banks is like, okay, you have to smile like this, but like, but you're smiling like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like, you smile, you're you're smiling smiling like this, but, but what you need to do is smile like this. And it looks the same to me, (laughs) right? But I'm like, I I guess she knows what she's talking about. She's a model. It's cool. You know, she's, she has her own TV show and whatnot. (laughs) So that's like, that's pretty much what I'm saying as far as acting goes. It's like, you, you got to be able to act with emotion, but also be emotionless in the sense of his dryness. And he has like Mm -hmm. some humor to him, but it's very, very dry. You know what I mean? And, and I just don't know. I think, um, I think Superman is just a little more charismatic than he is that type of like bad, you know, kind of like that like rugged type of uh, character. Yeah. And maybe he could prove me wrong if he gets cast as mm-hmm. it, right? But um but I just don't know. I mean, I have my my doubts obviously. Yeah. You know, but um the article continues on saying that it, this is one of the only few series uh that's evoking so many emotions from fans because of the series because of the books. Right, and, and, and it says we can only compare it to the noise surrounding the Lord of the Rings series that's being produced by Amazon. Um, and they have not created even a single line of script. Witcher has. Okay. Right? The Witcher uh, writer has actually tweeted multiple things. Like, she's actually tweeted um, character details. Like, Dandelion is a bard of the Witcher series, and he is like almost like the best friend of Geralt. Okay. That travels around. Sees what he does with these contracts and makes stories and poems and songs based on his like adventures, and then he gets super famous because of what Geralt's doing, right? So that's mm-hmm. why he likes hanging out with Geralt because he gets money and stuff like that, right? No, and cool. he's a big, um, he's a big playboy, right? He's a big kind of like you know ladies' man type of thing, and and so she she had like these different tweets coming out like Dandelion, you know, charismatic and like you know you know. Uh, different like descriptions of them and then like Trissa or like um uh Geralt obviously um Vesemir right and so then you had all these characters and it was really cool and then she's like hey just finish the first episode of and so it's like we're hearing these things on 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 Twitter that mm-hmm. this that the writer is actually 
getting script lines out and getting these 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 ideas out. Uh, whereas Lord of the Rings from Amazon, which has like a five year contract or something like that, it's put over like a crazy amount of money. It's like I think like half a billion dollars or something like that. Wow. It's like it's supposed to be like the most expensive TV show ever, as far as its budget goes. Um, they have not written a single line of script, and that's what this this article is talking about. It's like, mm. and yeah. we're much further in the actual in the actual process, and it's getting a lot of emotion and it's evoking a lot of these things because of the fans and because of the excitement. And so, I just I just kind of hope that they, at least from what I've seen playing the game, mm-hmm. that they that they stay true to 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 what actually. Um, has occurred because you know we see TV shows where it's like, oh, excuse me, bless you. Uh, <laughs> we see TV shows where it's like they totally just or movies where they just totally butcher. Yeah, you know. Well, there yeah. this isn't the article saying that they also are getting the original author of the books and they're getting him involved mm-hmm. and insight from him. Yeah, and running through things through him. So I think that's hopefully that's going to help out with the entire series. Yeah, and I think if he was smart, he'd put in a stipulation that it needs to be. Filmed in Poland because you everything know, every because his his uh, his inspiration came from the mm-hmm. Polish lands. His inspiration came from the Polish myths and stories. Um, you know, a lot of the monsters that that you see in the series and in the book, they're they're like they're from fairy tales of Poland, right? They're they're Polish fairy tales, um, and obviously you you recognize some of them like mermaids and and like mm-hmm. sirens and different yeah. things like that, right? Um, but it's a really, it would be kind of cool to be able to have like, yeah, we're filming in Poland because of the forests here and like because of the land here. Well, I think and... the article touches on the fact that they're not going to try to Americanize it. They're not going to try to do, Yeah, I believe oh, yeah. The, the article had said, we're not going to try to Americanize it. We're actually going to try to stay true to what it is. So that way globally it could be accepted rather than, oh, you know, it's accepted in America. They're trying to reach more of kind of like a global standard rather than just um, people in the States. Yeah. Which is and good. I hope, yeah, that is good. I mean, I hope it takes off. I do. You know, I I don't know if you guys are, are you guys aware of the, the Marco Polo results or anything like that? Because I know Netflix did Marco Polo. Yeah. And yeah. they weren't trying to Americanize that. They really kind of kept it, not, like, not as, it, they were trying to keep it the way it had happened, but just not like, obviously, it's fiction. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But, um, but I think they're trying. Their audience was more on a global level, and it didn't really work. Didn't really. I mean, there, there's no new series of Marco Polo. They no. canceled it. You yeah. Know? And so I don't know if is that necessarily a good idea. You know, to make it on a globalized. I mean, because it's like, what are the numbers on the global level of the Marco Polo? You know, reviews and and the watches and like you know, because like Netflix doesn't release that shit, so we don't really know. Mm-hmm. But it's like. You know what I mean? Like, where where are we seeing? Um, uh, yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> let's move on to the. I next thought you were gonna say they're gonna bring back Marco kid. Polo. <laughs> that was that'd be exciting. That would be really exciting. But I mean, I just, you know, I don't really, uh, I don't, I, I didn't see a big following in America. Mm-hmm. Like I watched it, and I thought it was good. Yeah. You know, I thought like, oh, this is very interesting. This is, it, it wasn't really, they were trying to tailor it towards like, oh, this is the next Game of Thrones. But I mean, it's really not, you know no. what I mean? It's, it's like, it's more just a fun story that that has some truth to it, right? That ha- And then kind of goes off on its own. It has its own kind of um, expansion, mm-hmm. you know? Right. Where so it, you're, you're afraid that Witcher, because they're not going to kind of pertain it to the American audience, might fall flat or it might yeah. not get the well, at least fall flat in America. I mean, it, there's always the chance of if it if it pushes towards a global audience and the global audience accepts it and watches it and enjoys it, that's a whole different story. You know, then you have okay, this is great because everywhere they're enjoying it, right? Mm-hmm. But what we tend to see is America or at least focusing towards, you know, an American kind of ideal I guess ideal is a bad word, but main mainframe or mainstream of, of American audience, it tends to run better. It tends to be viewed more 
by, yeah. an, by an American audience, and then it gets those additional series, That's right? True. Cool. It gets those additional seasons coming in. Um, whereas if you were to focus it like kind of like Marco Polo did on a global setting, at least from my opinion, it just it I think it just died out. There wasn't a lot of audience, or maybe just because it was just it just got annoying at the end, or it got like the story didn't really tell it at the end, right? Mm-hmm. But it, I don't know, and that that was my whole thing is is like it, it, are we focusing on the wrong thing? Are we focusing on on you know what I mean? Like if it ends up being really great again. No problem, then. No yeah. problem at all. You know? Um, but to ho- hopefully Witcher doesn't go that route to where... Hopefully it doesn't suck. It, where, yeah. <laughs> I, th- I think it'll have a lot of just... A lot of uh, support from just the gaming community. The people that bred the books. So I think it'll float on its own for a while without any actual help and then yeah. once it gets like that traction people really hear about it I think it should I think it should do well as long as the story is done right as long as the the show itself is just a good production it should be I think it should be a pretty good show yeah because I what I see is not having um, the show even be like action packed if they're trying to push it more towards a, a global type of uh, audience, it's going to be more slow. It's going to have like a flow, right? So I think mm-hmm. the first couple episodes are kind of going to be like Game of Thrones. First couple episodes where they're just setting up the story, they're setting yeah. up the characters, you know what I mean? It gets a little intense towards later on, right? It, I mean, it, like, it starts to build, 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 but it's going at a slower pace. Yeah. And that's what I feel like it... That, to me, I enjoy watching that over and over and over again because you pick up on little details that you know that they're placing on purposely to have to be to be watched again and again. Mm-hmm. Whereas the, the the American audience tends to be like, oh, there wasn't a sword fight or there wasn't you know action packed like within the few like you know half hour of the show. I'm already bored. Yeah. I'm already I'm on you know I'm on my phone. I'm, I'm this is boring. I'm gonna change it to something else. You yeah. know what I mean? And and that's that's what I worry as far as an American audience uh, viewing that that they might not understand that the books aren't crazy like he's hunting monsters every single day. It's about his travels. It's about him being pretty much poor and moving from town to town trying to find contracts. And when he does find them, you know what I mean. Then it gets action packed and then it gets, it gets exciting. Yeah. But there's those down times where you learn about the character and you learn about like. He gets involved in a war and he doesn't mean to because he just happens to be at the wrong place at the wrong time, you know? And so it's just like, um, it's just, that that's what I kind of hope is going to happen. But at the same time, I hope it gets accepted by the people who are expecting something different. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the next article, uh, I, just, I just actually found today... Um, you guys know about Fantastic Beasts and the Nifflers, those cute little furry platypus looking things that love gold and, um, shiny things and it has its own pouch that just starts stuffing shit in and then, and then Newt Scamander grabbed it and hung it upside down and all the gold came out. Those are Nifflers, in case you guys didn't know. In case you guys didn't know, they're adorable and they announced... That there are baby Nifflers. Of course there are, because they reproduce. But it just sounds so cute. <laughs> I mean, look at these fucking things. Look at it! <laughs> I mean, they're so adorable. I mean, there's different colors. The one we saw in, obviously, Fantastic Beast was all black. Mm-hmm. Then we got some blue. We got some gray with white streaks. We got, like, even, like, a calico-looking one. Yeah. With different with different colors, the uh, the black, white, and 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 orange, you know. I mean, it makes sense because you know Eddie Redmayne's like, yeah, of course there's baby nifflers, and then there's full on concept art of baby nifflers coming up. And so what I'm kind of hoping is that in Crimes of Grindelwald, there's gonna be baby nifflers. There's gonna be baby nifflers. Oh, so he's gonna curious. have like his own little briefcase that he's gonna climb down into. And that Niffler that he caught in the first one we'll is, have, was going to have, like, little eggs, and they're going to hatch. And then he's going to eventually, like, through the story, you know, have little baby Nifflers that grow up and, like, cause commotion because they're little rascals, you know? <laughs> Adorable. Adorable. 
That was pretty good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> one person here. No one person who cares. <laughs> <clears throat> that was just a throwaway article. I totally wanted to bring it up, though. I know you guys don't care, but <laughs> they're freaking cute, so I care. You should make a hashtag. Hashtag baby nifflers. That's hashtag boring. Hashtag baby nifflers are real. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag baby nifflers in the next Fantastic Beast movie. That's hashtag, too long. That's too long. <laughs> hashtag what the fuck are nifflers? <laughs> <laughs> now we know. Um, okay, so lastly, uh, we wanted to get on to the main, um, main story. The main point the main of this. The uh, I guess it's not really a story. It's not a story. It's the main point of, of the whole podcast, of our backlog. What do we do with it? Why do we keep adding to it? And how do you, personally... Uh, try to deplete it as much as possible. Now, the reason I was thinking of this is because I was looking at the shelf of video games that I have, and I'm like... Can you explain what a backlog is just prior, just in case nobody knows what backlog means? Sure. I'll explain a backlog to you. Um, Wow. (laughs) I know what a backlog is. (laughs) Uh, Pretty much, a backlog is... Uh, like I was saying, on the shelf of uh, video games that I have, there are a number of video games that I just, they're there. I haven't even plugged into my PlayStation or Xbox or what, or what have you that I haven't even played. And it's just something that, okay, I have a list. And it's like, it might be internal or you might be as, you know, legitimate as actually making a list of things of like, I want to play this, right? And so the backlog is pretty much your to-do list of wanting to either watch, right, uh, or play. So for me, it's I have a bunch of video games that I want to play, and yet I still jump on to, you know, Dead Cells. <laughs> <laughs> and, and play that real quick and then go to bed, right? Or it's like I have... Um, a list of, of, of TV shows I want to watch, like Legion. Oh, yeah. And I watch Parks and Rec. You know, and so, <laughs> so it's like, it, it's, that's what it is, where it's like you have this list of, of TV shows or video games or movies. That, like, there's a bunch of movies that, are, that have already come out that I want to see. Those are on my backlog. Those are things that I want to actually go out and, and, and watch, but I just haven't had the time to do it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And so you create this internal list or you physically write down a list. Of, of, of like, wow, okay, here's the to-do list of what I want to do. And so what I pretty much find myself doing is I have, you know, my, here's my video game list, uh, either in my head or I've written it down. Which one's, which one's the easiest one? Like, which is the shortest story, right? Which is like the indie that I can finish in one sitting, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Finish that, get it off my backlog and then move on to the next thing. And it's like, that's one method, but it's just like, do you guys, so I guess I'll open it up to everyone. Do you guys have a backlog? Do you guys have something that you have where you know you want to watch it, you just haven't gotten to it yet? And so it's like, it's pretty much your, your watch list on, on Netflix. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, what, what are some of the things that are in roll. that? Or Crunchyroll. Or Crunchyroll. Crunchy yeah. Um, I mean, I think I always have... I have numerous of things on backlog. I mean, I've started a bunch of series. It's like, oh, eventually I'll get to it, but it may take a little bit more. Like House of Cards, even though uh, the main actor in that show is someone we don't necessarily uh, speak of anymore. But going back and actually uh, finishing that series up, um, I would want to still finish that series up because it was still a good series, but I never went back to finishing it. Or The Walking Dead. I think there's a bunch of series that have started. I don't necessarily have a combative way to kind of do it just because life kind of gets in the way after working just so many hours a week. And then, you know, I don't want to necessarily put my mind into something. I want to kind of just sit on my phone and just have something, you know, out of the ordinary. Just right. I mean, on. that's the reason I, I start just watching Scrubs or, yeah. or Parks and Rec. Something that I've watched multiple times, but it's just, it's one of those like, just throw it on. You don't have to think about, you know, anything too intense. Or, or, like, try to follow the story too much. You can kind of think about it, jump on the Reddit, jump on the whatever you want. Mm. And, and you know, it's just like, 
don't know. Sometimes I look at it and I'm like, are we just wasting time? You know what I mean? Are we just, are we, like, I get off my eighth at nine to five and, you know, I'm just wasting time now. It's like I could be doing something else. I could be mm. filling in or, or crossing off this backlog. Yeah, you freaking losers. Get off your damn phones and go do something. <laughs> <laughs> they could be on the computer. <laughs> they could be at work like I do. I don't do that. Just kidding. If you're watching from work. He does. And he brings his switch. I do. Do you bring my switch? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's great. I played, uh, I played uh, Dead Cells yesterday on my lunch break. So, you know, I'm doing the, the yeah. fasting diet and everything, and so I, I didn't eat any lunch, and so I just had to clock out. So I just pulled out the switch, played for 30 minutes, signed back in, and started working again. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Just> like... <clears throat> Man, that's the problem, because it's like there's always new movies, there's always new TV shows, always new video games. You know, how do you combat this backlog? Do you Or do you just... Come to terms and just be like, you know, I'm never going to watch it. I don't know. I find myself to where I've, I think I've literally given up. <laughs> like, I don't even turn on my TV anymore. I'll just have, if I have it on, it's literally just white noise. To where there is, like, so many things that, you know, I think that just goes on that I don't have a lot of time to really kind of just pay attention to. Which isn't a bad thing. I mean, you know, obviously life is going to get in the way, but... You know, I don't necessarily have a set plan of how I'm going to watch these series. It's just, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, then, you know, it doesn't. Yeah. Do you find yourself needing a um, an excitement, you know, involved with, to, to actually get yourself to watch a show? I think it comes in, in phases. Like, there, there are times where I'll, I'll binge watch a, a show or multiple shows, and that'll be my niche. That'll be my thing. Right now, I watch random fucking videos on like Facebook or YouTube or something like that. And then that's my niche right now. That's kind of like my back bypassing time to where eventually, you know, I'll get back and fucking finish fallout four. Or, I won't finish fallout four. Who am I kidding? <laughs> uh, but get back into it and start playing it. Cause you know what you could do. You could restart it. I will not restart <laughs> it. <laughs> that is not going to happen. I don't care how lost I am. I don't care. But, um, it's not much of a story to fall out. No, there's not much, but I mean, it's. I mean, I still have the Halo series that I bought the entire series for. Oh yeah, I was like, we were yeah, playing, we're exactly. Playing. Yeah. We could try doing like a let's play on that, and that way we can keep it consistent. Where it's like, no, yeah, yeah, that takes time. That's and the effort. point. No. <laughs> it's it's you're gonna pick and choose what you really kind of want to spend your time on, and then whatever your niche is at that time, it's gonna be that. I mean, you can spend time watching anime. I've never really got into anime, but. That'll be your thing. Like, okay, I got home from work. I'm throwing on anime because this is my downtime on my relaxed time. But right now, that's not my. That's not the phase I'm into. That's not you know. That's what I'm doing. I'm watching anime. What are you watching right now? I'm watching Hunter Hunter. Oh yeah, yeah. Hunter X Hunter. Yep. Hunter Hunter is pretty good. I just kind of jumped into it thinking like, oh, let's check it out. I had a lot of reviews and it was one of like the. Higher higher rated anime, so I was like, oh, I'll check it out. Is it's it still pretty, on, it's pretty is it fun. Still online, uh, or is it? No, it's over. It's, it's over. It's like 126 episodes or something. That's like not that. bad. So that's not nothing like Naruto, yeah. where you yeah. give up half of your life to watch. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, and I'm at, I'm in that slug of Naruto where I just don't want to turn it on. I literally I've clicked on Verve, I've gone down to Naruto, I've clicked on it, I've gone to where I'm I am currently, and then I've hovered over the button and I'm just like I'm gonna turn on Scrubs <laughs> that's what he does yeah. home button go to Scrubs and watch Scrubs cause I just how many like, times have you watched Scrubs by the way uh is this like my fourth time <laughs> watching Scrubs nine seasons yeah nine seasons there's, I think there's nine seasons of uh, Parks and Rec too, and I've watched that. Like, oh three times. goodness! Yeah. See, I'm not I'm not that type of person. I can't rewatch something. Oh, I love the rewatch. I things. cannot rewatch. Oh, I mean, the right only thing again. I would want to rewatch again is like Game of Thrones or like a Sons of Anarchy, especially with the Mayans coming out. That'd be kind of cool to rewatch the whole Sons of Anarchy coming out now that they're oh, doing yeah. the spinoff. But I can't do a 
I don't think I could do something four times. Twice, that's kind of my limit. Like, I'll never watch Lost again. No, I don't care what. I'll I never watch it. I still haven't watched Lost. I didn't, I didn't like it enough to watch it again. If it's something I'd like enough, uh-huh. you know what I mean? That's, one, it's most likely going to be a comedy. Or Harry Potter, because let's just face the facts. I've watched that over a hundred times. Um, I've only watched one of those movies twice. You've watched the whole series. We made you watch yeah, it. Yeah, but I've only watched one of those movies twice. Yes. That's the first one. That's, that's the first one. I oh, it's the first one? Yeah. Oh, okay. I rewatched it. It was actually pretty good. It was better the, I think it was better the second time. Because you know what's going on. Yeah, I know what's going on. Uh, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, yeah, but that to me, now like watching Harry Potter, is just white noise. It's white noise because it's like I know what's going on. Mm. Right? I mean, I've read the book so many times. I'm actually reading them in French now. And... To, to help with like the lessons and everything like that and so it's like it's because I know what's already going on I can kind of pick apart like oh that verb means that and things mm-hmm. like that um, but the the actual movie itself is just white noise to, to the point of I can turn it on and I can just lay in my bed and I will fall asleep and the, the show will end and then I'll wake up and turn off my you know console my TV and you know what I mean like it, to, to me it's it's just kind of like a I don't know comfortable thing you yeah know? i don't mind watching things over and over again because sometimes i see little things that i didn't notice before but do you ever feel like okay well i'm never gonna get to this because of that because i mean i i know that like all right if i don't get to it i don't get to it but you kind of battle off oh my god i really haven't done this and you know i really want to get to this and then you end up putting on scrubs like that doesn't affect me yeah I can't if, like if i don't if i if i don't get to a series then i don't get to a series but for you does it like hurt you not to finish this game or not to get to the series and run through it all? And I think so. I think so. Because I mean, I because I made the topic. You know, I think mm-hmm. that was just a thing that was, it was in my my thought brain for so long. <laughs> um, it was just something that was kind of like, what is why? You know, why is this happening? Like, why? Why am I just constantly like, oh, I really want to do that, and then I don't do. You know what I mean? Like, I really have to push myself. And that's what's hard is I, I feel like you're right. There are phases for everyone because I go through phases too. I go through, like, video game phases where I won't touch a video game for a week, you know, or two weeks. And that to me, that's a long time. Mm-hmm. And and that's like, it's like, damn, so much has happened since because I'm already filling my time with movies or TV shows or books or whatever, what have you, right? Um and so when I sit there and I think about it, and I'm like, dude, there's so much to play. There's so much to do. So much to watch, right? Like, I'm, I'm on 156 of Naruto. Of Naruto, not Shippenden, but Naruto. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's still, like, 300 episodes left. Oh, my and God. And then I move on to Shippenden, where it's, like, a whole 12 seasons. Yeah, um, and that's, like, another 700 episodes. Yeah. And that's a lot. And and then you look at like One Piece. It's like how do you catch up on that? One Are Piece still is going? still going on, and they're like thousands of episodes in. Okay, yeah, probably not thousands, but it seems like thousands. I think it's I think it's, it's either like either at a thousand or over a thousand now. Oh really? I think so. Because I know that they're ending it. Like the one of the final season is supposed to end in like twenty twenty of One Piece. That's still three more, two more years. Yeah, that, that that's what they're like pushing for. That like and they're oh we're trying to finish this arc. And then it will be like the end game type of thing. and um, But it's just like, how do you catch up with that? How do you catch up with so many flipping episodes? You know what I mean? Or, or so many video games that come out. And especially like as we were talking in the beginning of the podcast, you have these video games that are just super long, that are so time consuming. And there's multiples of them, you mm-hmm. know? And it's like, that's like for any of the Assassin's games, they're all super long. You know, Batman games, right? Uh, Tomb Raider there's there's just a crazy amount of um, things to do. And so it's like, how do you tackle that? Or what tips would you want to give to people? You know what I mean? It's go, like, yeah. go play outside, kids. Go play outside. No one's playing. <laughs> that, that would help. Yeah. Just take the backlog and throw it in the fire. And just say, fuck it. Let's... <laughs> and go outside. Yeah. I don't, um, I, and, but, I mean, it's really, really, if you kind of... Wrap your mind as like, oh, I got to catch up. And I, I think that's going to be the issue. The if passion. You, you yeah. have a passion for it. 
it's not necessarily the passion. I'm just saying, like, I think you thinking that it's going to happen to where you're going to be able to watch every single series, I think it's kind of giving up that notion, like, okay, well, you know, I might not ever get to this, but that's okay. Okay. Get what I'm, I'm saying? I'm, I'm definitely like that. I If if there's a, a few items on my backlog mm-hmm. and I'm just like, I want to watch that just for the curiosity of watching it. It's not like anybody is like, oh, it's a great show. You need to watch it. Mm-hmm. If I never get to it, it's okay. Yeah. Like, like for me, Iron Fist, never touched it. Don't. And I don't care. <laughs> don't. And don't. I don't care to touch that. Don't care to watch it. Right. I don't even care to continue watching the Defenders or anything that comes out after that. I wouldn't yeah. mind watching like the like Daredevil. I watched um, Netflix shows. But, watched um, Punisher. Luke Cage. Punisher. I watched the first episode and that was really fucking good. Did so you I finish might, it? I watched no, the whole season. No. So I might watch Backlog. the whole season. Luke Cage is actually pretty good. Added, the second season, your, I, I actually like. I like the second season of Luke Cage better than the first season so far. Yeah. I what? haven't watched it. I haven't even watched the first season of Luke Cage. The first season is a little slow. It's okay. Yeah. Luke Cage season two is definitely better. But okay. either way, I mean, if you don't finish it, then at that same time, I think you got to be okay to where, like, all right, well, I don't finish it. Like, yeah. There's always going to be new content that is going to be released yearly. You know, just obviously the Witcher series. When that comes out, you're going to be consumed by that at that time. Or not. I mean, you could be consumed by video games or whatever different phase, but it's just kind of just the mindset is like, if I don't get to it, it's going to be fine because there's just so much content out there. There's so much stuff that you probably haven't even tapped into mm-hmm. that just like, oh, you know, it's it's just, it's kind of like a give or take. It's like either you can consume your time with it and you can be like, oh my God, I really wish I can go back to it. Or you can just like, if I never go back to it, if I never kind of get on that again, it'll be fine. It's like, you know, I'm not, I'm not giving, I'm not going to worry about it or fret about it. I'm not going to live yeah. the rest of my life. Oh my God, I never feel, you know, finished Fallout 4, you know, and spent, you know, 150 hours on it. Yep. You have spent 150 hours. And I've spent like 60 hours on it and then I stopped. As <laughs> soon yeah, as I got me, to like 60 hours, I was like, this is, this is a lot for me. <laughs> yeah, for me, um, one thing that's on my backlog that hasn't even come out yet is Ninja Batman. It did come out, didn't it? Did it? No. I, I thought think it came so. out. It's it's on there. It's on Terrarium, but it has. I don't think it's come out yet. Mm. But I really want to watch that. It's like it's. A, it's Batman that goes back in time to like the samurai era, right? Like Japan. Yes, but it's Edo a, Japan. Yeah, but I don't think there's an American version for it. It's all. It's only in Japanese. Oh really? Yeah. Because huh. like even the Joker is like like Japanese Joker. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah that really seems really. That. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so pretty much, the the takeaway. Is when you're in a phase of like, I'm really into TV shows, I'm really into this show, take advantage of it. Mm. Right? So if I'm really into this certain video game, take advantage of it. Try not to, you know, do other things or, or you know what I mean? Like, like actually fulfill your passion of, of, of completing it or at least playing it to your enjoyment until that phase goes away. Mm. But don't worry about if you don't get to it. Exactly. Uh, so then my my second comment is from a business aspect of us looking at and critiquing certain things, do we have the right to, to be able to review or talk about if we don't even finish a, a thing that we are, we're discussing or reviewing or talking about? I mean, obviously, if it's a subject that we're going to be discussing or talking about, you know, there's... There's a purpose to finishing it. We have a goal to finish it. Our goal is to talk about it in the, you know, in the certain podcast rather than this is out of my leisure time. If it's something more so out of your leisure time, it's like, all right, if I can put it on the back burner and never watch it, then it's fine. But if it serves a purpose or serves a certain goal that I'm trying to reach, then I could say, like, no, you know, we actually have to see that went through, finish it all the way through. So if I'm going to talk about Luke Cage season two, I better, you know, freaking finish that. Or else I'm not going to know what I'm talking about. We need yeah. to do it for research purposes and understanding of the you know the full concept of the series, the story, um, the characters, or in just playing a game. I need to actually spend maybe a good sixty to eight hour, eighty hours to really be able to talk about this game. Yeah. I mean, other than what's it called? Dead cells. Dead cells. I mean, you could spend ten minutes. And it's like, okay, I get the concept of this game. Pretty much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I understand. That's what I did yeah. the other night. I paid it ten minutes. I get it. Or I'm not. Go to bed now. 
Fuck, how many hours have you put into it? I put a good few hours. Yeah, we still don't even know what those sewers do. Sewers are fucking hard. Mm. Toxic damn sewers. You don't even Oh, know. there's scorpions in the in the High Peak Castle as well, which is just annoying. Yeah, fuck those scorpions. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, anyways, so 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 ro- roping back from that mm-hmm. point, then of uh, doing it, like research, would there would a good tip be uh, treat it not not treat it like a job, but treat it al- almost as if like a goal. Like, hey, mm-hmm. okay, I'm going to um, October month. October month is going to be backlog month for my video games. So mm-hmm. me, as my creative, I'm going to choose three video games and I'm going to complete those video games in the month of October, mm-hmm. right? It, it, and would that be a good yeah. alternative? Because there was yeah. a time, what, you... Didn't you make a goal up of reading 100 different novels in a year? Yeah. Yeah. And I, then did you, and you ha- hit that goal, yeah. right? Because you had that goal. You had that mindset. You, re- you kind of really spent your leisure time, your free time, really... Trying to hit that goal. These books. He actually read them. We we're just kidding. It's not for show. He actually read them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you had that goal and that purpose. Like, hey, this is my purpose. I want to hit a hundred. Yeah. And then you had something to work for, rather than, you know, having some oddball season of this or that, to where it's just not really a goal kind of intended. It's just like, oh, I want to see that. I'll get to it eventually. But it's something easily that you can push aside. But if you're I saying, see that. I see that. hey, I want to I want to watch all the Marvel series on uh, the MCU universe oh, on oh, Netflix, then you can push yourself to do that within, you know, three months. Please do not watch Iron Fist. It's not good. Yeah, <laughs> it's I've heard. not good. I've heard. Did you watch it? No, but there's not even a dragon fight, and that's the reason I didn't watch it. Yeah, it's it's not. I watched. I, I asked. That was the first thing I asked. Oh, I watched. It. I finished it. Oh, it was like. Uh. Was what like that was their whole sentence, and I'm like, was there a, a dragon fight? And they're like, no. Okay, I don't want to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to touch it. Don't touch it. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so that I mean, that's good. We have some. Okay, when you're in a phase, you want to really focus on that, whatever yes. phase it is, right? Where you want to create goals for yourself. You want to treat it as almost like a. Uh, uh, Challenge yourself, you know what I mean? Like, October challenge. Try to mm-hmm. try to complete four video games in, in, in the month of October, or whatever it is. Or watch the four movies that are in your backlog in the month of October, or at least in the first week, or whatever it is. Um, so goals are good. Faces are good. Um, or maybe even, like, I don't think we talked about actually creating a list. Because I know there's a bunch of movie, or movies or series yeah. that I actually was like, oh, this is something I would want to watch. But I forget about it, or I don't come back to it. But actually, creating a list somewhere, either in your like your note section of your your phone, or mm-hmm. somewhere that says like, "Hey, this is kind of like my backlog." That way, when I flip on something, I'm not like scrolling aimlessly and being like, "I don't know what to That's watch." True. Yeah. That is you know, true. I don't know what to watch, and that way, you're like, "All right, well, this is a list of things that I want to watch, whether a movie or play this video game, uh, read this book, any anything in terms of what you really kind of want to do." And that way, you can actually create a list and prioritize. All right. Well, this is the stuff that I actually really want to watch. I like this. This is yeah. like my first level, top tier. It's my second tier. This is, and then you can even throw in just you know whatever miscellaneous and like, hey, I'm gonna I want to watch it because I know I don't have to pay too much sense to it. Hence the ranch. So, <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. No, I like that. I like that because it it kind of. I feel like it would it would benefit me. You know, uh, these tips, at least. You know, it's like, because I, I get through those phases. Um, video games, TV, right? I, all like, oh, I really like this TV show. But I think I, I, you're right. I think I need to make a list, use that list to then create goals, mm-hmm. right? And then make those goals, like, part of a, part of a month, part of, um, like, a quarter, part of, you know, uh, like, for this week, right? Um, you know? Make it to High Peak Castle and Dead Cells by the end of this week or whatever it is, right? <laughs> so it's like, uh, it's like, okay, I got to get my ass to it, you know? I got to yeah. fucking get out there. Yeah, um, yeah I beat the Clock Tower uh, you boss. Beat it? I beat the Clock Tower boss. And then I made the High Peak Castle, which is where you're supposed to find, like beat the last boss. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I keep dying at that fucking place. Yeah. Yeah. Keep dying. Yeah, you have to start all over. You again. have to start all over again. There's permadeath in that in that game. It's yeah. crazy. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what are some of the backlogs that you guys have, whether it be video games, movies, TV shows, uh, or books even, right? Uh, I have a big backlog of books as well. Because, um, yes, even after my 100 books in by, you know, by 25, I still have books that I want to read. Um, so what are some of your backlogs? What are some of the things that you do? And are these tips, do you think these tips are going to be beneficial? Or what, do you, what would you actually add to some of the tips that we provided for you guys? Uh, let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, bon toi. And uh, thank you guys. It's been My Creative. And uh, this is the My Creative cast. Thank you so much for uh, watching us this whole time. Appreciate it. See you guys. Bye, guys.